Hi, I'm Renee. I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. This is part three of the three-part series. If you haven't watched part one and two, click here. In part three, I'll declutter the hallway and the living room. So now it's time to move on to the hallway and then into the living room. This hallway was a storage area and it really wasn't safe to walk through without having it be a trip hazard. Because there was little area to work with, as I got an area clean, I went ahead and vacuumed. And once the hallway and living room are completely clean, I do a final vacuum. So I moved the tripod into the spare room that I did in part two. And as I'm backing up, I'm backing up into the bathroom. So here is the backstory. I spent four days in this 800 square foot home. The homeowner is in her mid-70s and has been struggling to declutter her house. She stated her biggest offender is papers, magazine, books, and mail. She has many physical ailments. She has AFib, which is an abnormal heartbeat, fibromyalgia, she's had two total knee replacements, and a shoulder that needs repaired. She has never married and for many years took care of her mother. She also spent 25 years as a sister in the Franciscan Order, where she dedicated herself to serving the poor, the sick, and the marginalized. She is also an avid cat lover and had eight cats in the home. She originally had quite a few more cats that were strays that were outside. And one of the cats that she had in the home was blind. So that cat really didn't know where the litter box was. Which is why you see a lot of pee pads all over the furniture. I'm lucky enough to help this homeowner, and when you watch the video to the end, you're helping more families to declutter and organize their homes. As I start to break down all the empty boxes, she begins the task of going through all the paperwork. This blue rocking chair eventually goes out to the trash. It was completely broken. Once again, I'm vacuuming in sections. Now to move on to in front of the entertainment center. I never did get to the entertainment center to clean it out though. As I was working on this section, she was letting me know what was gonna be donated and what she still needs to go through. I emptied the canister in this vacuum many times. She was such a trooper to go through all those papers and books. From the looks of it, this is the corner where the cat spent most of their time to look out the window. I took the red curtains down the day before, took them to the laundromat that night, and hung them back up the next day. If you look to the right for the front door, just below the doorknob, you'll see a bunch of what looks like dirt, and that is actually rust.
I really thought behind the couch would be dirtier than it actually was. The door handle was loose, so I quickly tightened it. I'm so glad I could help this homeowner. When I left, she said, everyone needs a Renee in her life. She was so grateful with all the work that I had done, and the next day she started working on the entertainment center to get rid of a lot of knickknacks. She had a steam mop that I used that did a pretty good job. I did spray some floor cleaner on it first. This is all the trash that I got out of the house in those four days. Her brother also had a trailer that I put all the donations in, and once we were done, he took it away. All of these books were donated. Her brother didn't think we could do it, but we got it all clean, organized, and decluttered in four days, and he was completely floored. So once the floor was all cleaned up, I vacuumed everything one more time and mopped the kitchen floor. Thank you so much for watching. The next video is ready for you to watch. I'll see you there.